today we will see like look ahead filter for any project look ahead filter is very important so normally project managers used to see this kind of filters so we will see how to do that in our primavera now so i just opened a sample project so it is like in progress project we can able to see like a remaining duration original duration and everything only 13.42 percentage complete here now we can just go to filter icon here we can able to create our own filter so already by default we will be having two weeks ahead global filter anyway now we are going to create our own look ahead filter so i am just going to click new and here i am just going to name it as look ahead filter and then now i am just going to select parameter for where i am putting yes so you can able to select start so start and then you can able to select something from here so now i am just going to put is within the range of so is within the range of some low value and then high value so low value i am just going to select dd so data date and then high value i am just going to select dd so plus if you want a two weeks look ahead filter you need to put 2w so if you want a two month look ahead filter you need to put 2m so now i am just going to put a uh, two week 2w okay and again i am just going to put plus so now i am just going for f for finish and now also i am just going for is within the range of now the same we can select from here so dd and then dd plus 2w okay now we will be like having only the activity which will start after the data date the two only for two weeks it will be visible in our gantt chart now if you want some other like uh, already like started but it is in progress then we can just go for plus so i am just going for uh, activity status so equal to so now we can able to select any of the three completed in progress not started now i am just going to in progress which means this activity started somewhere but it is in the range of dd plus 2w okay in that case we supposed to select like this now we supposed to make this as from un to r not all of the following this is not possible so we can just go for any of the following so that is possible we will get the filter so it's supposed to be r so from here you can able to change all of the following means and any of the following means r okay now i am just going to click okay and you need to put apply so you can able to see the changes and then click okay okay now we can able to see the duration remaining duration how the things going on so now to see like what we done so i am just going for a layout or i am just going for show on bottom no bottom layout so this is what it is now i am just going to like hide the empty so i am just going for so group and sort by where i am just going for group by option hide if empty and then apply see now we are having a perfect table and also we can able to see the gantt chart okay even in the gantt chart we can able to start from so data date so you can just click this time scale button from here it is like a earliest project start so now i am just going to choose data date so earliest data date so i am just going for okay so that's why we can able to see the progress line in first may and then it is just showing two weeks from second week third week so what are all the activities going to start in this two weeks it will show even it will show until the activity end so right click and then uh, go for uh, bar chart options here you have sight lines where you can just go for show major lines every um one week and then show minor lines every day click okay so now we can able to see like uh, how the major and minor lines so now we can able to judge so within the two weeks we this activity is going to start and it is going to end somewhere in june something like that so again i'm just going for filter so i'm just going to click this and then modify 
now i am just going to put a dd minus 1 w which means like before one week also it will show so click okay and then click okay so can you able to see that okay now we can just go to print preview so here we can just go for page setup so from here i am just going for options and here i am just going for time scales that as dd so minus 1 week i am putting and then i am just going for again dd plus 2 week so i am just going for activity table and then gantt chart so click okay output is scaled down to 16 percentage it may not produce readable output so click okay so now we can just go for a so page setup and then where we can just go for fit time scale to one page wide and i'm just going for option where i'm just going for activity table also and i'm just going to click okay so since we have more columns it is like that so we can just go here right click columns so we have lots of columns here so what we can do means right click layout and then open put no now i'm just going for classic schedule layout and then apply now i am just going for a page setup now i am just going for fit time scale to one page wide option and then click okay so since we have lots of data we are getting uh, two pages so now in this layout if you want to do some changes and you can able to save the layout as a look ahead filter layout so for that what i am just going to do means like uh, i am just going to just uh, customize the column for example i don't want resource budget total cost total float or total float we can have and then this we can just push this way and then click okay show on bottom no bottom layout so go for filter look ahead filter and then apply and then okay so hide if empty click okay okay this layout we can able to save so just to go to this uh, drop down and then uh, put a save as and then you can name that look ahead filter and then click save 